This video is from www.makemegenius.com. If you want to see more science videos, go to www.makemegenius.com. Oh, yeah, it is free. Stop. Do you know which system of your body takes the extra liquid out of your body? Did you know that most of the food we eat also contains a lot of liquid? But you don't know which parts of your body throw extra liquid out. Imagine what would happen if all the liquid stayed trapped in your body. <laughs> so you think a blast would occur in your tummy if your body didn't get rid of extra liquid? It does not happen like that. The body has certain parts which take care of extra liquid. All these parts are part of the urinary system. This is also called the excretory system. Let's understand more. The main parts of the urinary system include two kidneys, ureters and bladder, and a urethra. The kidneys are two bean-shaped organs. All of the body's blood passes through it, and it filters the blood and waste liquid is changed into urine. The kidney is made up of several small cells called nephrons that are like small filters. They keep all the nutrients and good blood contained and convert waste into urine. From the kidney, this urine goes into two very thin tubes. These tubes are called ureters. From the ureters, it goes into a balloon-like organ called the bladder. When the bladder becomes full, then you feel like going to the washroom to pee. From the bladder, it passes out of the body from a part called the urethra. Oh, it seems your bladder is full too. Do you want to go to the washroom? Can you hold it in for some time? Do you know which muscle helps you to stop pee for some time? There is a muscle lining around the bladder called the sphincter. It stops and holds the flow of urine until you reach the washroom. Okay, go empty your bladder now. Goodbye. So you're going to www.makemegenius.com for science videos. <coughs> it also has lots of interesting facts and PowerPoint presentations for children.